Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Let's, uh... Let's follow this lady. She's lighting the ground up as she walks, folks. Do you see that? That's kind of neat. I'm going to continue without her, because she's too slow, but still. Kind of neat, right? Okay. So I'm going to guess that there are green rocks around. Not kryptonite. And now we need to put something, put one of them, over there, which will open this door. Yeah? Right? Ow. Now, the question of where are the green rocks is anybody's guess, but I presume that they are pretty close to the thing. And that they are not down this chasm. So let's not jump down there. That would be foolish. Okay. She's still walking somewhere, so we're going to go this way. There we go. These bridges are not safe, but I don't question traversing them. Let's see. Looks like a bit of platforming is in our future. What have we got over here? Things. Things and stuff. Okay. Nothing of any use to us at this very point. Can we go down? Uh, you know, I think we can. Do we want to? Running out of options, so we are going to. Whoop. Something shiny right here. That's interesting. There is nothing I can do to stop the chain reaction. Si oh, 100 gamer score. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, there is nothing I can do to stop the chain reaction. Soon this world will be lost. I cannot fathom my part in this catastrophe or the blind arrogance with which I carried out the planet's execution. Separated from the motherland, uh, I will never know the outcome of this great conflict between Moscow and the West. But I earnestly hope that they never stand on similar grounds and witness the destruction that they have wrought, as I must. But they never stand. Okay. I watch as this vibrant world rots to death. Rots to dead rock. Ugh. I so desperately wanted to hand triumph to our people. I could have been a savior, but now I cannot face them. I am glad that we can never return. Our people will never know what happened here. They will never know why their families never came home. They will never know... It was my fault. Sad. Um. Um. Do I want to go this way? Seems a bit risky. Seems a bit unsafe. Oh, never mind. We made it. Ah, here we go. And it looks like we might be able to walk up there as well, maybe? I, I don't know. Anyway. Let's grab one of our green rocks. That one's my favorite. And we'll take it over here. And put it in the thing. I suppose. Eh. 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 Okay. Now let's take it. And stick it in the thing. It's gotta be a better way of saying that, but you get the you get the idea. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, good God! That's new. And I bet I should I should probably take one of these with me, just in case, because I know we have to put one in the middle section of the big, you know, the big contraption as well. So. Might as well be prepared. Ah, oh, there we go. And can I make it across? Oh, I'm sure I can. I'm sure that I can. Okay, good. Back up we go. Rock in hand. Dwayne Johnson in hand. No, that sounds weird. Let's not do that. Okay. We're climbing. Oh, jeez. Eh. Eh. 
Ooh. Okay, good. Making progress. Let's not lose our footing or our rock. Turns out there were rocks up here the whole time, so I didn't have to bring my own, but hey ho. At least we could say we had the adventure together, right? Rock. That's right. Whip out the old robot arm. Nab that little fella. In you go. And now we can open the big stupid gate. Yay! Okay. And... Oh, that's just a slight drop. There we go. Don't know the point of that, but it did make a good platform to get up higher, so I'll take it. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. There we are. Now this is, I think, the third gate like this we've seen, so this technically counts as door number three. So, let's see what's behind door number three. Hey, look at you! Thanks for all your help down there. Did that come off as sarcastic? I wasn't trying to be mean. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. Hey! Process of elimination. There we go. Where to now, lady? Uh-oh. I can't give up hope. Okay. Clearly there's something interesting behind this door. Eventually. What is all this rambling about on here? Crater. Hmm, okay. Boy, this planet just keeps going, doesn't it, folks? Lead on, lady, unless I pass you. And we are now officially racing because I'm winning. So, catch up if you can. <laughs> Jetpack. Ooh, there's a building over there, folks. What have we here? Hmm. Actually looks more like... More like a family home. And look, folks, a big crater! Don't know what I expected. Because it was labeled crater. Whoop. Look at this! This looks livable. Yep. Uh, much to our dismay, the ecological impact of our exploitation of the green fire was vicious. The plant life receded rapidly. We theorized that the moss was the primary source of food for all the life of this planet. Unfortunately for our civilization here, the decrease in moss not only meant the decease in power, but also a de decease, decrease. Uh, decrease in power, but also a decrease in oxygen. Human and plant alike began to die. As luck would have it, though, one of the doctors noticed an oddity in town. One of our assistants, Elita, was keeping a garden, and it was thriving. We attempted to discover its secret, but Elita was strangely defensive. Apparently her child had died in the early stages of the oxygen shortage. shortage. Uh, Elita's refusal to cooperate and share her secret forced our hand. Soldiers came threatening to burn the garden, dicks. Uh, but when Elita moved to protect her plants, they grew stronger. Her touch made them react. Ooh, I think that's the lady. Uh, brought them to life. Regarded then as a tool, Elita was taken, imprisoned, and forced to undergo terrible experiments. We severely altered her on a genetic level by injecting an abundance of native DNA into her body from preserved moss cultures. While she roared in pain and protest, we took her humanity away on a molecular level. 
Ailita was more of a plant than a human when we were finished. Her eyes took on a brilliant green color and her lungs filled with CO2. But it was a success. Her footsteps invigorated the ground in her wake with small sprouts of life. The moss responded to, uh, to her touch rising up from the dust. I did not expect Ailita to forgive us, but she is the only hope to restore the balance of life on this world. Without Ailita, this planet will remain in decay for the rest of time. Okay, so... The lady's name is Ailita, folks. And she was experimented on by these Russian folks, lack of a better word. Okay. What is over? Th what, what is this? Oh, it's a rock. Just a Dwayne Johnson, don't worry. Where is Ailita? Where is she gone? I don't see her green footprints anywhere. Which means I may be walking into my death because I no longer have a guide. Or I just left her behind because, again... We were racing. And I was winning. Do we want to go down here? I don't think we do, actually. Perhaps I have gone the wrong way. It's just a theory I'm working on, but... The fact that I don't... Do we get to go in the... Oh, folks, I think we get to go in the crater. Let's go. Right into the middle of the crater. What fun, right? What fun. Ow. Okay. And there's something right in the middle. Can't quite make out what it is, but... I'm hoping they have oxygen. <laughs> That'd be swell. That's the house. I don't know what that is over there. Oh, maybe that's where I came from. Never mind. Okay. In the middle of a crater, on a lifeless planet, we have discovered... rocks. That's, uh... That's great. Oh! A huge meteorite. Initial analysis of meteor indicates non-typical or terrestrial meteors. Upon further investigation, the meteor appears appears to be part of a highly engineered vehicle. What? Uh, our current theory is that the crater was the landing site for the advanced race that built the portals and released power structures. We've set up a research outpost on the rim of the crater, and we plan to study the site at least through next winter. Okay. I really wish the voiceover would stop after I've closed the document. Oh. This might be an exit, right? Maybe? Or that. Or that. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one. I suppose. This is ominous. <laughs> this is really eerie. Okay, we'll keep going this way. I just think it looks it looks like an exit. Although it might be nothing. There's always that possibility, isn't there? Yeah, that's an invisible wall. Okay. Perhaps I should have just stuck with Ailita. Hmm. Though at this point, I have no idea where she is, unfortunately. Hmm. So that's the house that we came from. Oh, what is this? This looks important. This looks like a door, actually. Is it caved in? Is it caved in? It is very caved in. What? What is moving here? Huh? 
Uh, I'm not likely to see another day. The wounds I carry are a constant reminder of the pain we have inflicted upon this planet. Our original purpose here was pure and good, but maybe that is the curse of a species far from home. We cannot adapt, so we destroy. Instead of cultivating, we upset the natural order of the new world. It has always been this way and always will be such. Uh, and, there are, and there is the arrogance to think it should be any different for our own generation, for our generation. I am sorry, Ailita. I did not see it until it was too late. If my name is ever called, uh, if it is ever again called to mind, I hope it will be as a lesson for those who come after me. Do, that's a thing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Not really sure where to go in this crater, but clearly it is not that way. Nothing that way. Ow. I have no idea where she went. No idea. So I guess I'll just try to go up here. Right? This appears to resemble a pathway. Maybe she's slowly making her way somewhere. Maybe this is the way I should have came and there's something very obvious. Pretty sure, actually, that I see a tank to give me the extra boost that I need. To probably get on top of that building where the door was. Thank you. Stupid jetpack. So many rules. Okay. Back to the door. And jumping. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like a bad idea to just land after that. Okay. This will be what we want. Yes, we want to go on top of this. Nothing to worry about, folks. And jump. And jump again. There we go. Look at that. Crater, you are my bitch. I am gone. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. This does not feel safe. <laughs> I can't help but always have the feeling that I am not safe. How in the hell am I supposed to make it up there? Okay. Can I... Over here, maybe? Something of a platform, but still nowhere near the height I need to be. Ah, oh, jeez. So, which, how? I don't understand. Hmm. No. Ow. No, I don't want to go backwards. Ugh. Okay. Where to then, game? You tell me. Oh, God, I am such an idiot. I bet I have to go back up and then around. Ugh. Dreadfully sorry, folks. This must be very dull to watch as I explore around and see where I need to go. Okay. 
Let's go back up then, yes? Ailita's probably up there being like, I've been waiting here for four hours. Where could he have possibly gone? Okay. Let's give this a shot. No, not up there. Gotta say, I'm not a fan of this crater. It has made me look like a fool. Well, I mean, most of it was just me, but... No. Ah, uh, just let me up. Oh, you piece of crap. How? How am I? No, just let me up. I just want to get out of the hole. There we go. God. And of course the green... Yeah. Leads me all the way there. Think nothing of it, Ailita. I was just, uh, exploring. Yes. Exploring the crater for an obnoxious amount of time. Okay. Do you have a flashlight? Have you had a flashlight this whole time? Impressive. I think mine's better, though, because it's mounted on my helmet. But, who's to say, right? You should have seen the trouble I had with one of these earlier, lady. I was trying to push a barrel around and then do some platform jumping. It was really embarrassing. Can we please get out of here? Please? I feel like I've spent too much time on this planet. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump the rest of the way if that's okay with you. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Oof. This looks interesting. Ancients. Ooh. Come on. Keep up. Keep up, Ailita. I'm glad you have a name now. I was very close to just giving you one. Um. Okay. Where to? Yes. You're just gonna wait there, huh? Very well. I will continue on without you. Ow. Ow. Yeah, thought I might find some plant life I could pick up or something like that, but no such luck, I am afraid. This place is creepy, isn't it? But what is this? This looks like the portal, right? That they were trying to build earlier? It looks a little more complete than the last one. Uh, it looks like the Russians... Russians were studying these alien structures. What are they looking for? Yeah, studying the works of the portal creators. The network of monoliths, huge power structures, and the number of walls and doors surrounding them. I still can't figure out how it all connects. Nor can I. Roger. Are we meant to be up here, maybe? I do see some green. Oh, okay, that needs... That needs a rock! Which is maybe up here? Aha! Look at that! Thank you! I'll just be... Putting that in here. There we go. And then I'll whip out the robot arm. Spectacular. And mine. And. Good. 
Right? I did good. Please, what should I be doing now? If you could just tell me, that would be so. Oh, don't, there's another one over here. I see it. Which means there should be another rock nearby as well. Yes, quite. Oh, it's right here. It's easy enough, isn't it? Boop. Okay. Alright, alright. And. There we go! Excuse me? That's a button. That I will go toward? Wherever it was? Where was that? Was it. Was it. Where, where was it? Ah, okay. Here we go. Now we push the button. Okay. Something is happening. Oh my. Oh my. Look at this, folks. Something is indeed happening. We call that spinning. What? Hi, Lita. Could you please tell me what's happening? I'll come to you, don't worry. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. You're right. You should probably be careful. Or don't. I'll join you. Hang on. I'm coming up. I'd be lying if I said that didn't look fun. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Eh? Me next? Look at that. This is incredibly unsafe. I don't really fully understand it. Also, this doesn't really look like a portal. So it must not be one. Still, it's... It's impressive. Good on ya, spinning rock. Thanks for Rainbow Road. Well, it's not really Rainbow Road, I suppose. It's just green. It's just one color of the rainbow. But, still, nonetheless impressive. Hi. You know what? You sit this one out. I'll I'll do this too. Okay. So more buttons to press, right? I assume. Hmm. Is this a button? Should I be pressing you? I'm thinking I should. But before I do that, is there anything else that's... Like, what's over here? This looks like something. Something important. Or maybe it's... Just a note in Russian. As per usage. Dear God. Uh, okay. New plan. Eh, there we go. So we'll press the button and see where that takes us, yes? Okay. Did I do right? Oh. Is this normal? 
probably right. Okay. Maybe now I go up here. Ah, maybe. Then again, may maybe not. But the rocks are floating now, so that's a good sign. Let's see. Oop. Yep, something's happening. Okay. Do we want to be moving these so so the two halves can touch? Probably, right? That's probably a thing. Can you guys cooperate in here together? Or is there not enough room? There is not enough room. That's fine. Um Nope, you don't you don't both have to come. Just one is fine. Actually. Looks like the sizes may vary. Oh, this one I cannot push. Interesting. Uh... Don't really know what you want from me. But that's probably not it. Well, folks, uh, before I continue on with this stimulating puzzle, uh, I'm going to end this video. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Lifeless Planet. Lives up to its name. It's definitely lifeless. But it's fun. All right. Thanks very much for joining me, folks. I will see you next time.